So let's start off with some basic terminology. First of all, what is a seizure? Well, a seizure is the outward manifestations, or it's what you see on the outside as the result of abnormal electrical discharge in your brain. So this is different from some other events that happen that people might use the term seizure for. For example, a fainting spell, some people will call that a seizure. Or even a panic attack, or a person feels anxious, has a racing heart, maybe short of, short of breath. What I'll be using the term seizure for, and what most neurologists use the term seizure for, is this outward manifestation or what you see due to abnormal electrical discharge in the brain. Seizures are common. If you include seizures that occur in infants, febrile seizures, and seizures that occur in older folks, about 1 in 10 people will have a seizure in their lifetime. Now where seizures are common, epilepsy is uncommon. Epilepsy is having two or more seizures that are un unprovoked, simply a clinical designation of having two or more unprovoked seizures. So where about 1 in 10 people will have a seizure in their lifetime? Only about 1 in 100 people will have epilepsy. So where a seizure is the event, epilepsy is the condition, epilepsy being two or more unprovoked seizures. Some other terms that you might hear when you're talking to your neurologist about seizures is something called an aura. This is the feeling that comes on before a seizure happens, may precede a seizure by several seconds or several minutes, or maybe even will occur uh, without having a more typical sort of seizure. So what families will often say with auras will, will be something like, um, you know, once a month I have uh, some sort of unusual tingling feeling in my arm or unusual taste in my mouth or sense of impending doom. But every once in a while I'll have this unusual sensation, then I'll fall to the ground and have a seizure. Well, the aura is actually a sort of seizure. It's the abnormal electrical activity producing some sort of symptoms. Remember, that's the definition of a seizure, which often precedes what people will describe as the seizure itself, the, the big event that, that happens. Automatism is another term that may come up in talking about seizures. These are the unusual movements that people have during a seizure. For example, uh, automatism can be an unusual continuance a pre activity, so something that happens before a seizure, that continues on in sort of an abnormal fashion during the seizure itself. For example, if a person is chewing or talking when their seizure comes on, they may have some unusual mouth movements or tongue thrusting during the seizure. If they're doing something with their hands, there may be some sort of unusual hand movements that might be described as an automatism, unusual movements during the seizure itself. So again, to review this, the seizure, abnormal electrical activity, producing some sort of symptoms, can seem like an aura or automatism, and then epilepsy, which is just two or more unprovoked seizures.